Well, it's the 22nd of December. Thank you so much for joining us. This is a part two in our Advent series on the Christmas songs in the Bible and why Jesus, when we see who he is, when we know him, it really makes us want to sing. So we're going to go over to our reader today. Thank you, Gethin. Luke chapter 1, verse 46 till verse 55. And Mary said, My soul glorifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Saviour, for he has been mindful on the humble state of his servant. From now on all generations will call me blessed, for the Mighty One has done great things for me. Holy is his name, his mercy extends to those who fear him from generation to generation. He has performed mighty deeds with his arm. He has scattered those who are proud in their innermost thoughts. He has brought down rulers from their thrones, but has lifted up the humble. He has filled the hungry with good things, but has sent the rich away empty. He has helped his servant Israel, remembering to be merciful to Abraham and his descendants forever, just as he promised our ancestors. Oh, thank you so much for that today. And you notice there, just those words again, we looked last year, but what Mary carried on in the Christmas spirit. Elizabeth started off, she was filled with the spirit saying, you can be really blessed if you believe in Jesus. And Mary, it says, and Mary said. It's so easy to look at someone else who seems to have their life together and say, well, it's okay for you. Nothing ever goes wrong. You've got it easy. You seem to have joy, but it's not the same for me. I just can't seem to get that joy. We're so full of buts, aren't we? But I know I should be joyful, but this has gone wrong. I know I should be happy, but things haven't worked out the way they should have done this year, at least the way I thought they should. I know I should be full of joy and the Christmas spirit, the Holy Spirit, but I just can't bring myself to do it. It's so easy to fall into bitterness and grumbling. But Mary was touched by what Elizabeth said and carried on, carried on. And what did she say? My soul magnifies the Lord. The mighty one has done great things for me. And again, we've used this little picture before, but let's use it again. Magnifying is not, there's two types, and it is not the first one. The first one is taking something tiny and making it seem bigger than what it actually is. You take a little tiny fiber of cotton from your jumper, put it under a microscope, and it's tiny, 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 and it it makes it sort of zoom so that you can see it. It makes it appear bigger than what it actually is. That's not what Mary's saying. I have to work really hard at trying to make God seem impressive because he's actually really tiny and small and, and not glorious at all. That's not what Mary's on about. It's like a telescope where looking at the moon or a star, that object is so big, so huge, so glorious whatever it might be, like shimmering like the moon. It's so big, you can hardly take it in. You have to almost sort of bring it to you to show all the detail and glory. It's almost too big. And that is what we're called to do as Christians, to magnify the Lord, not to make him seem greater than he actually is. There's no one greater than him, but to show him off in our lives. And Mary does that by singing. His mercy extends from generation to generation. He doesn't treat people like their sins deserve. And this doesn't just happen once. This happens to children, to their children, to their children's children, generation after generation. Anyone who calls on the name of the Lord, the name of Jesus will be saved. What a glorious truth. No wonder Mary was full of such joy. She was like, and that's how he's treated me. He hasn't treated me like my sins deserve. He's had mercy on me. He's given me help. He's given me grace. He saved me. What an amazing privilege. I want to spend my days magnifying who he is, showing off who he is and how amazing he is to all my family, to my friends and my neighbours 
Have you seen how glorious Jesus is? That he's God's son born for you, he's died for you, he's risen again to bring you life. Do you want to spend the rest of your life, the rest of forever, magnifying him to everyone else around you? That was Mary's song. And she carried on in that spirit for the rest of her life. And she's still praising God in heaven today. Pray that you would magnify Jesus with us as a church. God bless. See you soon.